Hey there, BrewTube! DJ here and... Hot Dog! Exactly! And Hot Dog has allowed uh, Johnny to come because she's quite interested in his cake, which is to the right of the table. I'm not sure if you can see it in the shot, but trust me, it's there. And tonight... She's interested in the beer. That Well, that too. Yes. Yes, she does like the beer. Um, but we don't show that on camera. That would be bad. PETA would get after us. Exactly. Remember what PETA stands was for. People eat tasty animals. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Anyways, speaking of tasty, tonight we have a new beer from Six Point. They haven't had a new beer for quite a while since they put out resin anyway, at least can. They do experimental stuff all the time. But we got their three beans beer. What three beans are in that, Johnny? Part one, part two, part three. <laughs> there are no beans in the beer. Oh. <laughs> uh, we got some like Romano bean, coffee bean, and third type of bean. Cacao. There you go. <laughs> yes, cacao beans. Now... This beer, all the sourcing that they could be able to do, they, they sourced it local, except for the Romano beans, where they, whatever farm they got that from. But Six Point Brewing, it's uh, Mass Brothers Coffee, and who's the other one? It's like, um, oh, Stump Town, Stump, sorry, Stump Town Coffee and Mass Bro Brothers Chocolate um, all got together all around the Brooklyn area, and they got this beer going. Well, the kind of cool th thing, but or tragic thing about it, when Hurricane Sandy came in, it totally rocked the beer brewery's world. And all the, those three businesses got beat to crap. So it, it kind of makes me happy that we bought this beer because it's helping some guys come back um, that gave back to the community and all that kind of stuff and gave people in the area jobs by buying this beer. It gives them you know, a little bit of support. And it's a cool UPC symbol with the Statue of Liberty. Exactly. And it's a can. You know we like canned beers. So this one is a 10% alcohol by volume Baltic Porter. So... They're saying that the Romano beans used to be uh, uh, fermentable that they would use in Slavic regions when they wouldn't have enough barley. Of course, beans have sugar in them, so that's not a far stretch, but they're saying it also gives it a creamy mouthfeel. So, like I said. That, like that grapefruit feel I have in my mouth from the last beer. Yeah, yeah the last <laughs> one we had, that was, that was super bitter. But this one, like I said, is 10% ABV and 85 IBUs. That's probably mostly coming from the coffee, and the coffee they use in this is cold brew coffee, which seems to be a trend out there in coffee beer world to use cold and brew. in real beer, beer or real coffee world. That's right. Yeah, true. Yeah, they, actually, the Stump Brothers sell cold brewed coffee in cans and things. But see that no bottle opener. Sorry, I really like this bottle opener, but with a can, not necessary. Wow. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yep. <laughs> Dog likes coffee too, right? But that's not really. That's coffee front to back in that beer. It's quite viscous, isn't it? Yes. All right. You keep pouring. You don't have to have it. Wow! Look at that head. Wow. And I didn't pour it that aggressively either. That's a one beach on nose head. Two finger. On mine, at least. Yeah, mine's grown. Yeah. It's dark. It's it's a it's not totally opaque. There's red and brown flashing through it. Yeah. It's a nice looking beer. It's got a solid mm, three quarters finger head on mine. He got a little bit bigger one because of the first out the can. When you swirl it, super sticky glass lacing, tons of alcohol legs, really tight khaki bubbles up at the top. Man, that's a that's a nice looking beer. So let's hey, get a hey, nose hey, on wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. You get the Damn coffee. Mm-hmm. Chocolate. No, no, no trying. Sort of dark fruits in there. We're in the smelling stage. I know you really want <laughs> the sweetness. Stop being the stunt drinker. I'm the stunt drinker. Almost smells sort of like a coffee with with uh, sugar in it to me. Mm. Really nice smelling beer. He's drinking now. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. Tell him what it tastes like. It tastes like beer. No, it. it it's got a nice creamy feel, um, smoothness mm. to it. Definitely. Um, the wow. coffee flavor is definitely not overpowering. I guess the mm. chocolate, you got that chocolate that rides on top of the coffee, tones it down, doesn't leave that bitterness. You would get in like a cold coffee sometimes, unless you love to throw milk wow. and sugar in that crap. I like my coffee black, like I like my women. At least brown, <clears throat> and um, you know this. This just has that creamy, creamy taste to it. I, I, I really, 
I really like this. For a, Balt job. for a Baltic Porter and a lager, it has an exceptionally full mouthfeel. Usually Baltic Porters are a little bit thinner than like their ale-driven uh, character, you know, counterparts. But the character of this beer, man, it's 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 way fuller mouthfeel, super smooth, and I don't get alcohol in the taste, but you do have a like a you got a you know it's a 10% beer because it tells you in your chest. You got that Vic Vic's Vapo Rub feel going on down the chest, man. This is it's a very pleasant beer. Yeah, like band roll on. <laughs> we got a couple of these going out to our buddies at Clemens Home Brew. Also, I wanted to give you guys a shout out. Uh, we'll post this review before you get your beer, probably, and you guys are going to like this one, and I'm happy we could get one for you. We had to get Johnny to get it because, for whatever reason, I probably because their production's slow after the Hurricane Sandy bit. Um, they weren't able to, they don't have it in Maryland yet. It's not going to be here for a couple weeks, so I wanted to get that trade done. One cool thing about this, too, when Hurricane Sandy hit, it actually filled the brewery up with water, and in the ex experimental keg stage that this was in, with a fermenter on top of it, the keg actually floated up almost to the top of the uh, of the cooler box, and then when the water subsided, it floated down. No water got into it, and they actually continued on with the experimentation off of that keg. So maybe it was divine providence that we have said lovely liquid to, to drink here tonight. So if you can find this beer, guys, buy it. If you got other six-point beers in your area, buy it too, guys. Help them bounce back from Sandy. That that would be really cool because that's what the craft beer movement's about, man, supporting each other in the community, keeping it growing. It goes great with Trace Leche's cake. Yes. Well, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's like coffee and cake. Yeah, coffee and cake, definitely. Coffee cake. Yeah. There so you, you can go. have it. Instead of going to Starbucks in the morning, pick up a four-pack <laughs> of this. <clears throat> you know, much better. And... and you know, I'm you sure go to the, work happy. The boss might not even tell if you crack one of these open oh, no. at the at the desk because it looks like a Red Bull or an energy exactly. drink can. So what does he know? Three beans. What the hell? Yeah. Tell, tell him it's a it's a iced coffee. Not unless you're, like I'm your boss or DJ's your boss, and we'll know, and then we'll ask you for some. That's right, because we'd be like down with that kind of boss, cool with like drinking at the office. Well, exactly. Maybe not. Well, you but you could. Yeah, I could, because I I do my own thing. Yeah. But anyways, so guys, remember what I always say: think globally, drink locally. Support the craft beer movement. Help these guys out, man. Buy their beer at Six Point. Help them bounce back and, and uh, produce some more beers and have some more new ones rolling out. Till the next time, thanks a million for watching. Let us know if there's something you want to review. And until then, I guess we got to give them what? A big peace out.